What is it called? Oh, jumping to the wrong conclusion? Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Without no proof or evidence of something? Right. See, that's what you're good at, right? <laughs> See, when someone makes a confession, if you don't listen to what they're saying, it's a waste of time. Right. It's like Jesus being on trial, right? You already convicted him of blasphemy because the Messiah can't claim to be one with God, right? Or equal to God. Or when the Bible doesn't say that, right, right. But it's blasphemy for the Messiah to claim all that, huh? Right. Or you didn't believe him, right? And what's he going to do about it, right? Die anyway? I know. Does it prove anything if you don't believe somebody when they tell you something or not? No, no. <laughs> Even if you murder that person over it, right? The problem still resides in you, even if you have to do what you got to do, right? But no one's telling you to do it, but you, right? And your group of friends, right? <laughs> See, that's the whole point. That's called vigilante behavior, right? That's because you think you know better than the person who actually... Might be who they're claiming to be, right? <laughs> but the Bible covers both portions, right? Whether you believe or not, right? <laughs> and what you would do about it, too, right? From the Psalms to Isaiah, right? What happened to Jesus is in the Bible, mm -hmm. is, is in the Old Testament, right? Even his death. Mm -hmm. for under 72 hours let's put it that way <laughs> right. Right. even back then if you were resurrected within a certain time period right as long as it was over four days like with Lazarus I guess <laughs> though he resurrected him too huh? you were still considered <laughs> not Fully mm, done for, done for. <laughs> but that's what grace is. That's what grace is. And yet, you can do stupid things, right? Everybody can't. <laughs> so if you're doing something wrong at 15, like working a job you're not quite supposed to work yet, or lying to your customer, or right. <laughs> That's on me, right? No, no. <laughs> That's what you're trying to do here, though. 25 years after I was around my stepdaughter, you're trying to set me up with an 11-year difference between the ages as well. Mm -hmm. Not no four-year-old. You, you know that won't happen, huh? <laughs> but a 15-year-old, right? You try to set me up but <laughs> Does that even make any sense? No, no. <laughs> that sounds spiteful, vengeful, and like you want to make me look bad whether I did something wrong or not, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But I'm the bad guy because I would know what to do with my stepdaughter if she woke me up or not, right? We just simply assess the situation and bring her back to her mom and say, possible, idiot. <laughs> That's all I confess to I would have to do in that situation, right? Anything more is you lying about it, right? <laughs> or making me have to make up a story about it, right? Where you're not an eyewitness to it, right? Even the girl herself at four ain't a good witness, nor the mom, because she had a brain tumor removed from her head, right? So I got medical condition myself, and the mom knew about that, right? That don't matter to you, right? But it's all Shane's fault because he's the man. That's the battle of the sexes, it, right? In other words, because I'm a man and you're a what? A woman, right? I'm in the wrong automatically. That's called the battle of the sexes. That's something Jesus would also have to eliminate, right? 
That's another problem. Men are fighting against women and women against men. And we're supposed to be a team here, right? We're on the planet together, people. And even going gay or trans means you want to change what you were born into something that ain't physically possible unless God intervenes, right? Only God can change your DNA from male to female or female to male, by the way, not some doctor who's being a quack. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you might can surgically make someone look like a woman, but they're still DNA-wise what they were born, right? And you know that. Technically, technically. Medically, <laughs> right? You know, it's like putting the head of an elephant on a child because he lost his head somehow, right? What does that do? What does that really do? And can the elephant talk? It's still an elephant's head on a child, right? Does that make sense? No. No. <laughs> Why do you worship such a deity that is it even in the realm of possibility? Silly. Are you being crazy about the gods? Or are you thinking on your own? Being rational. <laughs> that don't even make sense. Or Anubis or a jackal on the head of a man. Right. Even that's crazy Egyptians. Right. Or an alligator or a crocodile. <laughs> we got alligators in Georgia. So... <laughs> It's the whole point. It would still be an alligator's head on a human's body, but right, some weird sort of mix of the two. Right. What you're doing there is mixing images, but then denying that the male and female might can come from one another in one body as what's called a human hermaphrodite. Right. Or an androgynous person, which is both male and female. Right. Andro is man and Giddy is woman. And Draginus, right, means they're both male, man and woman. Man and woman. Now you pretend the Gnostics are proven wrong, but they're not, right? Paul proves them right, right? John proves them right. You just don't want to deal with it because you were taught to lie about it, right? Now God can't do nothing but raise up a prophet like in the Old Testament right. to tell you what you're not seeing in the Bible. That's all I can do, right? That's all I'm doing, right? But I can't make you listen if you want to jump to the wrong conclusion. Right. That ain't my job. Mm -hmm. My job is to tell you the truth and hope you'll listen, right? Even if you don't. Even if you don't. <laughs> Because what you're reading has been denied for 1,700 years, right? In two more years, right? What I'm believing goes back to Jesus' time, right? In the first century, right? They said all this, too, too. So you're acting like they're only saying one thing about Jesus when they're saying many things of different things, at least seven things that you're not even wanting to deal with, right? One has to do with his name and the name of the Father, right? Which is the name of the Hebrew God, right? You can't even say it, crazy Jews, so how can you be saved, right? Our crazy Gentiles won't say it either, right? You pretend you can't know it either one of you, either one of you, <laughs> Or can't say it, either one of you. What, because they can't say it, you can't say it, and you can't say it because they can't say it, right? That's dumb on both of you. <laughs> See, you're acting like the language doesn't have other names in it, right, for one. <laughs> Eliyahu, which means my God, Yahoo, by the way. <laughs> and the feminine of that would be simply Yahuwah. Mm-hmm. You know how long it took me to figure that out? <laughs> about by the time I was about out in the Navy. <laughs> right, right. But again, I'm dealing with your stubbornness about it, not my own. <laughs> right, right. Two. Two. Leading a horse to water still can't make it drink, but what you gonna do? Leave it by the, you know, 
watering hole, right? The river, where, wherever it's at, right? The trough, right? And again, and again. I'm sure there's a reason the horse isn't drinking as well. Mm hmm. The water, yeah. Mm hmm. But you're both thirsty. Why are you drinking the water, right? Nobody's drinking the water, you're gonna die of thirst eventually, too, right? When Jesus said to the woman at the well, the water that I give you, you shall never thirst, right? And that means more than you want it to mean, right? He's not saying you won't need physical water again either, right? right. And, um, uh, but he's talking about water that leads to everlasting life, which is the water of the word, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus was from the old, right? We're supposed to use the old and new to explain him, but if there's two traditions, one oral, one written, right? The written can overshadow the Oral, right? Especially after 2,000 years, right? And then people wanting to burn the Gnostic Gospels, which doesn't disprove it, right? <laughs> oh, it disproves them because you can burn somebody's book, right? No, no. It means you're a tyrant and won't face the truth, right? And you have the tribulation period to deny it, right? After the tribulation period, you can't deny it anymore, and he's going to be with you face to face, right? At least 2,000 of the last 3,000 years, he'll come back, right? There's a reason, right? He lets you cut him off for about three and then comes back for about three, right? Why would he do that? Well, what's the wheat to the Lord, right? 7,000 years. <laughs> so in the day he came back, right? The first time, right? He came back the second time, right? And he'll come back again, right? Who do you think Jacob is wrestling with who he calls Peniel, right? But you know everything, right? But won't tell other men, right? See, that's like honoring with your lips, but your heart being far from it, right? That's what it's talking about. You act like, on one hand, you want to serve God. But on the other hand, you're denying certain aspects of God that are attributed mainly to God, right? Or the angels, right? From heaven, right? Now, if something comes from heaven, automatically scientists is an extraterrestrial, right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Who can deny that, right? But are you going to come when technology is again at its apex and they might see you more? Or are you going to come before that? You're going to come before that, right? Right. See, they can't force you or prove it beyond all reason without anyway anyway but you're also not being reasonable about it right, right. Mm -hmm. and God can't reason with you right come now let us reason together but if I can't reason with you you're more rational than you think right now, if you become preoccupied with something someone didn't know, right, and then you found out about it, right, that don't mean the other person is completely wrong themselves either. Just they were doing something wrong enough for it to affect them too, right? And it caused them a problem with God too, right? So you found something out out, right, that they didn't know, like, the Earth has ten different gases in the atmosphere. 
Well, you didn't even know that, right? Until you found a way to find out what types of gases were in the atmosphere, right? <laughs> you just thought there was at least oxygen or something, right? And you can't see a gas, right? Either you can breathe it in, right? Same with God, right? You can't see God and live because it's in you, right? But you can't see it at all if you die, right? You're dead. <laughs> end of the line. To the end of the line, the line.